May they be acceptable. May they be pleasing in thy sight, O Lord, you who are our rock and our redeemer. Amen. There was once a disciple who came to his master and said, Master, why do you tell us everything in stories and then not tell us what the stories mean? And the master said to the disciple, how would you like it if I offered you fruit, but I chewed it up for you and then put it into your mouth? Sometimes it's up to us to discover the meanings of stories. Recently heard this anecdote about Robert Frost being approached about the meaning of the existential crisis that the man experiences on his way back into town and he stops by the woods on a snowy evening and it's reported that Frost said it's just a poem about a man stopping by the woods on a snowy evening. In fact, he wrote it after staying up all night and completing it within just, just a few minutes. Imagine the beauty of a flower and then the flower being taken apart petal by petal to enjoy its beauty. In fact, uh, I was thinking about uh, this great moment in the series, Everybody Loves Raymond. Raymond wants to know the details about something in the, in the household and his brother Robert comes over to him and says, Hey, 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 hey listen, Cubby. When the little monkey rings a bell and the pellet comes out, he doesn't ask how the pellet got there. He just enjoys the pellet. I said all of those things ahead just briefing us, getting us ready, because we could analyze and take apart the 23rd Psalm. We could see its nuances between the shepherd and sheep. Uh, God only knows that I've been racking my brain all week long trying to find some sort of in, some sort of golden nugget in the midst of this. And I have to be honest and tell you that the greatest comfort this week from this psalm that came to me was just not analyzing it, just enjoying it, letting its words be all that there is. Isn't it enough of a comfort just to let the words do what they need to do? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restored my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. For thou art with me. 
rod, my staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. May you drink that in, breathe that in this week. May you find yourself reciting it by heart again and again this week. May you not rush to analyzing, but just allow the words to bring healing and the comfort that they provide. May all of this be so. The Lord is your shepherd. You shall not want. He will make you to lie down in green pastures. He will lead you beside still waters. He will restore your soul. He will lead you in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, may you fear no evil, for he is with you. His rod and his staff, may they comfort you. May he prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. May he anoint your head with oil. May your cup run over. And may you sense that surely goodness and the mercy of God following you all the days of your life. And beloved, you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. <laughs>